Hello guys and welcome to another episode of biology and of course today we are going to be looking at the digestion process. We are going to look at all the processes that have to do with your digestion. Okay, as you can see very evidently from your jam syllabus, the digestion process is part of it. Okay, and it is expected that as a jam student, you must know these processes. Alright, do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only OTD School Jam app. It's for the students that want to pass their exam at once. So long you have made a decision that you want to pass your exam once and for all, you need the application activated on your phone. We'll talk about the app in a moment. Let us see a Jam Pass question from the application. It's a biology question 2022 number 33. 2022 number 33. It says, which of the following will be first digested? If ingested at the same time, you know what ingestion is, right? And you know what digestion means. Okay, so you say which of the following will be first digested if ingested at the same time? What they're saying is if all of these food substances are taken into the mouth at the same time, okay, which of the following will get digested first? A says cooked rice, B say cooked beans, C says butter, D says roasted beef okay so we'll come back to this question and many more questions as it has to do with the digestion process at the end of the class because at all three schools we believe in giving you value first let us teach you once we have taught you answering questions will be the least of your problems so please download the application it has all the past questions that you need for all subjects okay and then wonderful features like the classroom feature with lecture or structured according to the jam syllabus we do not do anything in these classes without the use of the jam syllabus and then likewise there's the question search feature which enables you to search for question according to topic and all the questions that jamba set on that topic will come out for you to answer is that not lovely then there's also the mock challenge the utme challenge that's conducted for all students that are writing jam for this year in that challenge you compete with other students to win amazing prizes every saturday there's also a scholarship at the end of all the challenges but that is not the main purpose of the challenge the main purpose of the challenge is to make you get acquainted with jam past questions with jam likely exam question as well as familiarize yourself with the modes and tricks that jam uses to set questions all right likewise your results will be released every saturday just like jam so you will not be scared when they say jam past related results because you have participated in all the series of this mock and you have been successful all right so please download the app activate it activation is now up to the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant in the current economy so please do not be stingy to yourself and your future download the application and activate it now all right so now let us look at the digestion what process the digestion process the process of digestion begins from the word from the mouth on the mouth this mouth is also called the oral cavity it's also called the buccal cavity and then it ends in the small intestine the process of digestion begins from the mouth and ends in the small intestine somebody will shout ah master t why are you saying that what about the large intestine what about the anus okay now the process of digestion mainly begins from the mouth and ends in the small intestine, okay, where absorption of nutrients take place. The main function or purpose of the large intestine is to absorb water from the undigested food, okay, to absorb water from the undigested food and also to enable what you call bacterial fermentation. Bacteria what? Fermentation of the undigested or food substances okay that's the main function of the large intestine to absorb water from the undigested food substances okay and also what to enable bacteria fermentation okay of this what undigested what food what substances that is the major function of the large intestine so please take note of what of that now the aliment the alimentary canal which we talk about okay uh in the last episode we say it's a what it's a series of what of hollow or hollow tube or hollow organs rather hollow organs and tubes hollow organs and tubes that what begins from the mouth or the or the buccal cavity okay or the oral cavity the mouth is called the buccal cavity or the oral cavity begins from the mouth or the oral cavity or the buccal cavity through to the what to the phrenis to the esophagus or the food pipe the esophagus is also called the food pipe food pipe 
okay all through what the word the foot the, the uh, from the mouth to the phrenis okay the phrenis is also called the throat okay the throat is also called the phrenis okay to the phrenis then to the what to the esophagus which is also called the food pipe from the food pipe it goes to the stomach from the stomach to the small intestine small intestine to the large intestine from large intestine to the what to the what to the anus okay where it was what we pass out where we defecate okay so that is all the process of what of digestion and as it passes as food passes through all of these compartments in the gastrointestinal tract okay food is what gradually being what digested all right food is gradually being digested as it passes through what the gastrointestinal what, tract as it passes through the compartments of the gastrointestinal tract so now we have what processes about six processes of what of digestion which i were going to what, look at number one is ingestion okay ingestion okay there's no j here it's r-n-g-e-s T-I-O-N, ingestion. We say the very first step involved in what? In digestion, which is what? Chewing, okay? It involves you chewing the food. When you're taking food into your mouth, the first thing you not do is, is to do is not to swallow it. I know that some people, they used to swallow one full egg. Okay, I've heard people doing it before. Just I have not seen it yet. Please, if you have that talent, please video yourself swallowing the egg and what and send it to us so that we can use it to what to explain to other people how you do it okay so please the first step is to what is to chew the food the normal man being we chew food first okay so after chewing the, the, the chewing is also called what mastication chewing is also called mastication okay mastic okay and in this what process in this ingestion process the salivary gland the salivary gland salivary gland salivary gland and the tongue together with the tongue help to what moisten the what the food particles or lubricate what the food particle before it what goes to the what to the food pipe all right so it helps to first of all moisten the salivary gland and the tongue will help to moisten and lubricate the food particle before it gets to the what to the food pipe all right so that is what the first process which is called the ingestion process so the very first part the first way the food will start its journey from the mouth okay now that is the ingestion process then the next process of digestion we are looking at is mixing and movement okay this mixing and movement all has to do with what how what the food is being what lubricated okay how the food is being lubricated and we say that mixing and movement involves the process of lubricating and manipulating the food uh, apart from after lubricating and manipulating the food, are you supposed to leave it in your mouth? No. You're supposed to what, pass it down the digestive tract. Uh, we are able to do this with the, by the process of peristalsis. Peristalsis. Okay? Peristalsis. But without peristalsis, we cannot even eat, not even go to the toilet. We cannot use the convenience or even eat food without what, peristalsis. Peristalsis is the involuntary what, muscle, what contraction that enables what, food to get down the digestive tract. Okay, you say involuntary, involuntary muscle contractions. Okay, that is what we call what peristalsis, the enable food to go downward the digestive or tract. Without this peristalsis, we cannot even eat. Okay, no or poo. All right, so it involves the process of lubricating and manipulating food and pushing the food down the food pipe using peristalsis and into the stomach. So after the esophagus, we get to the world to the stomach. So food goes to the world to the stomach from the esophagus. All right, so peristalsis is very, very important. You should take note of that. Now, that is mixing and movement. That is not supposed to be too difficult. Please, for any reason, if you are watching this video right now and you have not liked the video, what you are doing is very, very wicked. It's very, very wicked. Because liking the video will make other students easily find this video. And B, you know what made their pass. Eh? Some of you say in our family, eh? when they like make another person pass. Why, why, why are you like that? Please click on the like button. Then also make sure you drop a comment. At least say thank you, Commander. 
All right, thank you, Commander. Something as simple as that. All right, and also we won't give you assignment. Please comment them what on that what this video, and do not forget to share. Click on the share button. If I'm if I'm on Facebook, click on share so that all that what uh, some of your mates and your friends okay can also watch it. Share it to your class group on WhatsApp. Share it everywhere, please. Just do your best to work to share. That's your own way of saying thank you. As you can see, all right, there are no ads on this video. All right, so we want you to work to learn what without distraction. But for any reason, if you want to support us, our account number is mentioned on the screen. If you want to say thank you, just send something, uh, whatever you can send to work to the account number to appreciate our efforts. Okay, so let us continue. Please like, it's very important. Now, that will take us to secretion, okay? Obviously, we'll talk about what the stomach secreting what enzymes, okay, and adductoric acids, okay? Then I'll talk about small intestine, the, the stomach, the small intestine, the liver, so the liver will secrete what bile, okay? Which helps in the what? In the, um, in the what? In the digestion of of fats. Then we'll say what? Pancreas also secretes the, find the home for what enzymes and hormones, for the production of enzymes and hormones. Okay, secrete enzymes and acid to aid the process of digestion. Okay, so that secretion is what is the third part. All right, we say the stomach, the small intestine, the liver, and pancreas secrete enzymes. Okay, and acid to what to aid the process of digestion and the function of what or the uh, function of what this all these organs. Okay, the function, the function by breaking down food particles into simple components into simple and absorbable components okay so the importance of what of all these uh, organs of the body Organs of what or the digestive tract, what to what to secrete organs, secrete or enzymes rather, is to what is to break down food particles into simple and absorbable components. That is the major function of what of secretion. All right. So the stomach, the small intestine, the liver, and the pancreas secrete enzymes and acids to aid the process of digestion. Now let us go to what. Uh, the fourth, the fourth uh, step, first process, which is what digestion itself. Okay, we already know what digestion is. Break it down complex or uh, complex molecules into what simple, what simpler, what molecules. Okay, that can easily be what be, what be used by the body. All right, so digestion is the process of converting complex food particles into simpler substances in the presence of enzymes and acids secreted by different digestive what, organs. Okay, uh, the process of converting complex food particles into simpler substances in the presence of enzymes and acid secreted by different digestive what, organs. All right, so and of course, it's very, very important to note here, all right, that uh, some classes of food, okay, they can be easily what uh, digested. Okay, digestion can start early, from as early as the mouth for some classes of food, while some they start majorly at the stomach. Okay, while some even at the small intestine. All right, so please take note of what of that. For carbohydrates, 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 digestion starts from the mouth. Okay, the salivary gland has what an enzyme that we call amylase. Okay, amylase. The salivary gland has what an enzyme called amylase that has to what break down what simple sugars, okay, or carbohydrates. So for carbohydrates, 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 okay, digestion begins from the mouth. Okay, from the mouth. Please take note of what of that. We'll see a question towards that in the what uh, when, in the question session. Okay, for proteins, for proteins. Okay, the uh, pancreas uh, uh, produces the enzyme that we call what the what the protease, protease, protease. Okay, or proteases. Okay, the protease or what the proteases that what help to what now to uh, digest what proteins. Okay, so digestion of what carbohydrate begins from the mouth. For the word proteins, it begins from the word from the stomach. Okay, why for fats? For fats. The enzyme called what lipase, okay, helps to what to digest what fats, okay, and of course this what uh, uh, lipase, okay, that's fats for what a lipase is for what for fats, and then of course the digestion begins. It begins from the stomach. The bulk of the digestion of fats, okay, is begins what in the small intestine. 
bulk of it become, begins in the small intestine. Please take note of this. It's very, very important. If it, were, it, if it were not important, I would have told you so. All right? So for carbohydrates, it gets in the mouth through the what? Uh, uh, amylase present in the salivary gland. The proteins, proteases, begins in what? In the stomach. Fat, the paste, begins in the small intestine. So please take note of, of that. They are all very important. All right? So now let us go to uh, the fourth uh, sorry, the fifth uh, process of what of digestion, the digestion process, the fifth process is absorption. Okay, absorption. We say what this process begins in the small intestine. So the, the absorption of nutrients begins majorly in the small intestine. Okay, from the jejunum, jejunum. Okay, and also the ileum. All right, so you see question that has to do with that. All right, so these are the part of what of the small intestine. Okay, you have the duodenum, you have the jejunum, you have the ileum. Okay, digestion of absorption of what of nutrient begins from what either jejunum or, or the ileum. This one is the middle part of what of the small intestine. This one is what is the end of what of the small intestine. So this process begins in the small intestine where most of the nutrients and minerals are absorbed. Then the last one, which is excretion, which you know very well, the process of removing undigested substances and waste byproducts from the body to the process called what? Defecation. Defecation. Okay? So, we remove what? Undigested or indigested food particles or substances from the body. Okay? Uh, through what? The anus. Okay? In the process that called defecation. So, that is what, those are what the process of what? Of digestion. Okay? So, from injection, from injection, we we'll go to what uh, mixing and movement. Then we'll talk about what uh, what uh, what was the third one? Secretion. Then we'll talk about digestion. We we'll talk about absorption. Then we'll talk about what excretion. Those are what the six processes that are involved in what in the digestive what process. Okay. So we'll go to the OTD School Jam app, answer some questions, and we are out of here. So please like this video. Like this video. Click on the like button. Share. Share. Click on share. Okay. So now let us see. 2023 number 16, using the question search feature, it says, which of the following is not a part of the alimentary canal? Which of the following is not a part? Remember, I told you in the last episode about accessory organs, okay? They participate in the digestion process, okay? But they are not majorly part of the alimentary canal. They are not part of the alimentary canal, okay? They say, which of the following is not a part of the alimentary canal? A says, esophagus, B says, small intestine, C says, liver. This is large intestine. Obviously, the liver is not part of the world of the alimentary canal. All right, it's a crisp bile, right, which helps in the world digestion of fat, but it is an accessory organ. It is digestion, but it is not part of the gastrointestinal tract. 2015 number seven say the pancreas secretes enzymes for the digestion of definitely fat, protein, and carbohydrates, okay? Not, not fat, vitamins, and cellulose, not fat, carbohydrates, and vitamins, not protein, cellulose, and minerals. For fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Take note of that. So now, 2022, number 33. So which of the following will be, the, will be first digested if ingested at the same time? I told you, okay, carbohydrates, because of what the presence of amylase in the salivary gland, okay, carbohydrate digestion begins in the mouth. Okay, for proteins begins what uh, majorly in what in the stomach. Then for what uh, although it can begin in the mouth, but majorly begins in the stomach. Then but for what for uh, what's the last uh, fats begins in the stomach, but what bulk of it happens in the, what in the small intestine. So now let us see the foods. A is cooked rice. Rice is carbohydrate. Okay, so uh, digestion will begin from the mouth. B is cooked beans. Beans is both carbohydrate and protein. All right. So uh, because of that, we cannot watch take what take what cooked beans. C is butter. Butter is fat. Okay. It begins with what in the what in the uh, small intestine. D is roasted beef. Beef is what is protein. Is protein rather protein and to begin what in the stomach. All right. So for this major reason. Cooked rice will be our correct answer here because digestion of what of simple sugars or carbohydrates begins from the mouth. Okay, so please, there are a thousand other questions from this application that you can wish to what to practice to get more understanding and effectiveness in your study. So please download the application, activate it, and start practicing now. My name is Master T. I'm your commander, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.